What's happening, Panda Nation? Put around Panda out with my Maserati Ghibli, and I absolutely hate these wheels. So the reason I picked it up is I really like the shape of this car, but for a mid-size sedan, it's really bulbous, but it's got a really long hood and kind of a, a wide, chunky styling. You know, the, the sides flare out quite a bit. So the car is a lot of outside dimension, but not a lot of inside dimension. Now, um, because of that large outside dimension, these wheels look terrible terrible so first of all these are factory you know, maserati wheels and they are 18 inches in the diameter and actually what i needed to do was replace the tires on these because they are worn and when i took it to the tire place they actually couldn't get these because generally tires with a sidewall this tall are reserved for suvs and they had none of them in stock they would have had to special order so 18 inch wheels large sidewalls to fill out this large um, wheel well here are not very common. And I just hate the look of them. They look way too small for this car. Now, I decided I wanted to get something a little bit sexier, dress it up. I really like the black. I wanted to go with a black wheel. I've never had a black wheel in a car. And so now that I have a black car, I thought doing a black wheel, murder this thing out, it'd be pretty cool. A lot of people have 20 inch wheels and Maserati actually has a standard 20 inch wheel that comes on the Ghibli. And that looks pretty good. And I was looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, and it looks pretty good, but it leaves a little bit to be desired. I thought, well, you know, really ideally for the size 21 inch, inch might be the perfect size and the problem with that is that there aren't a lot of wheel manufacturers that make the 21 inch in what I need and that is kind of the 9 inch in the front and the 10 inch in the back something like that and I really wanted a staggered set to help fill out the wheel well back here because as you can see that tire tucks really well in there and could probably stand to come out a little bit and I wouldn't mind uh, having a little bit more of the flare of those spokes instead of looking exactly like the front ones. It would just give the back end even a little bit more depth and dimension. And so finding a staggered set of 21s was almost impossible. They do exist, but then the tires are more rare. Now I was on the forums and asking guys about what they have and asked for guys with pictures of 22s and a lot of them had them. And they said that the ride quality wasn't horrific, which is nice. They said they don't rub or scrape or anything like that. So uh, as I was looking at it, I did think they maybe looked just a smidge large where the 21s were maybe perfect but not that bad and i thought you know it's not a car that i'm necessarily driving all the time why not just really kind of tilt for style so i got 22 inches pretty excited about putting them on now i will say that with the 22 inches the sidewall on the tires that come with them are not huge and so i'm not expecting like the most comfortable ride quality well these are the ones i actually got here and i took a quick peek at them what you can see is i actually have two stacks here and they are not the same height and that's because they are a staggered set so i have two for the back and two for the front. And so after much looking, I can tell you what I bought here. These are by Giovanna, uh, which is a wheel manufacturer. You've probably seen their stuff on a lot of different rides. They make dubs. And I went with the black wheels. What I really wanted are black wheels. And if you go black because the tire is black and because my car is black, you actually don't have to go that large. But I really wanted some outside accents. And this is kind of like a diamond cut here. What I think they do is they kind of paint the whole wheel and then they put it like in a lathe and then they basically cut out this bottom. Now, I don't know that I was thrilled. This wasn't necessarily the perfect wheel of designing it myself, but I do kind of like it. It kind of gives an outline of the wheel. And because it makes that outline, I wanted to go big because that's going to give you a really distinct uh, visual indicator of where the tire and the rim meet. Now, a couple of things I can tell you about this right off the bat. They do come in some other color combos. They come in just regular silver, but I like the black. And one of the things that I'm really impressed with is this Giovanna center cap. So I thought, okay, I'm going to replace these center caps with Maseratis. And I think I will be doing something in the future. I'm going to show you that. It's a little bit of a hack. But I was about to pop this out and I realized, look at this. This center cap spins, and the reason it spins is because it's weighted here. So you might remember that. That's, I think, a Rolls-Royce thing. And what I've noticed in all the pictures that have these, Giovanna is always straight. It's always parallel to the ground. And so what I've noticed here is that when I put it up, that center cap always orients itself to the ground. And so it's kind of a nice little detail that they do that's going to kind of set your car apart. I didn't know that, and it was kind of a nice surprise. Now, you can see that these have six spokes. They're slightly angled, so they have a little bit of an angle to them. They have kind of like this arrow at the top. You know, one of the things when we get it on the car, you're gonna see uh, the silver it gives you almost an outline of a flower. And so that's a little bit, mm, something you can't unsee, but I kind of like it still. So I obviously have 
the right tires on here. Everything's brand new. I have the tire pressure monitor sensors inside here already and are mounted and balanced. You can see the little weight in there. Now, as I'm unboxing these, these are the front wheels. Uh, I did order pretty much everything that I needed and it looks like I didn't actually order these particularly, but they include the hub centric rings there to center it. I did order black lug nuts for obvious reasons here. And it looks like that they include locking lug nuts. So you do get this right here, which is kind of nice. And so I think everything I need is here, except for my jack and my impact wrench. Guys, I feel like Saul Goodman in the desert. I'm so dehydrated. Wheels are heavy, man. <laughs> and getting the car up and the old wheels off. Uh, a couple things I'll tell you about the installation is that it went pretty smooth, but on the rear wheels, there is a locking nut that holds the caliper to the spindle. And you actually have to remove that because there isn't a recess in the wheel to accommodate it. So you just take it out. It's an Allen key. I don't remember how big it is, maybe uh, five millimeters or something like that, but I uh, took those out and saved them. Now, a couple things I want to show you here is that I love it. 22 inches I thought would look monstrous and strange, and I think it looks pretty good. I haven't cleaned up these wheels or anything, so you can see it's got all this kind of new stuff. So a little wash will make a big difference to kind of turn that black and kind of blend it in. But I actually thought the 22s would look kind of crazy big but i think they actually look really good because of the overall size and dimension and kind of bulbousness of the car and i would say that the fit is great too you know it goes right up to the edge of the fender here and i feel like the wheel comes out much closer to the edge of the rear quarter there. So in both cases, it just fills out the wheel more. Now, I actually thought that maybe a little more sidewall in there would fill it out a little bit more. Um, I actually like this. I think it looks really good. And I don't know that I would go bigger, but you probably could just a little bit. I was also a little worried that I might actually have to lower the car to make it look like it is sitting properly. But I would say that especially once you get the tires glossed up, that I, I think it fills it out really nicely. There's a pretty nice uniform space around there. If it were higher on the top, I would definitely think about that. But uh, because it's uniform, it's in pretty good shape. I wouldn't mind it being a little little tighter on the top just to give it a little sleeker look. But um, I really dig that. So this is my Ghibli before with the 18-inch wheels. And the after. And this is the before with the 18-inch wheels and the after and the before and after the before and after and the other thing that i love about these staggered wheels is that the angle is much more aggressive on the spokes on the back here as opposed to the spokes which are much more vertical on the front and of course here you can see that the center caps are oriented correctly if I do that <laughs> they're gonna fall right back pretty cool I love them hey if you want to pick these up I'll put a link to them in the description below Peter Von Panda out